back to back on the road. In the house, adios. Up here not that long ago, and you close it out down the stretch in the fourth quarter. What does it say about the confidence of this group despite the injuries that are uh, it says a lot about the confidence and the you know the strong resiliency that we try to bring every each and every night out. You know, uh, I know each and every last one of those guys are proud of each other out there, and just the team camaraderie and the chemistry that we're building right now. We just don't want to let that go. Uh, as you've seen your role increase during this run, uh, how would you rate this stretch versus the rest of your NBA career? Uh, I would say it would be just the start of it, you know. Uh, for me, it's just like I'm, for myself personally, I'm happy to get the opportunity to play with these guys and uh, have the, also uh, the opportunity to play with one of the best players of all time. And to be able to go out there and perform like I am right now, it's a blessing. You know, I'm not taking that for granted. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's really heartfelt to be able to perform like this when I couldn't do that in Washington. So I really do take that with appreciation and consideration of what my teammates are doing for me. Thomas, you've been. Oh, sorry, T. Go ahead, T. Oh, yeah. It's just you talk about the injury. Um, a lot of people, you know, try to visualize sort of what it's going to be after. I'm wondering tonight. You know, you're going against another All-Star big man. Um, obviously, put up numbers in a competitive game. Is this something close to, to what you were trying to visualize when you're going through? with the injury and try to come back? I've always visualized it. You know, no matter what, before the injury, during the injury, after the injury, I've always visualized it. I'm just happy to get the opportunity to be able to to show it out there on the floor. Dan? Thomas, um, how are you able to kind of keep your energy the same, like at minute 34 tonight as it was at minute one? I mean, I think sometimes it's reserved, like, you know, it's like, oh, like the, the, the shifts are shorter. You can kind of just go all out. There's nothing more. It seems like you're able to just kind of like hit the gas and just like let go. Um, you know, I've always I've always had that passion, the energy to play with it. You know, that's one thing that I've always tried to set myself apart. You know, from other players is to always have that passion, the energy to give it off in an infectious way. And it was funny. Uh, one game, the vets actually like said like, we don't play hard. We're not playing hard enough. So I always put that in the back of my head whenever we step out on that floor I need to give it my all no matter what you know whether it's the first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter it just cannot change we need to have that consistency in order to build what we're building right now and I need to have that consistency in order to keep building what we're building so for me I've always tried to you know put myself as a part of like the person that always brings that infectious energy but I have to do it in the right way and I feel like I'm finally getting toward that with my teammates out there Um, I do, but I'm not gonna let that go. I'm not gonna let that out. <laughs> uh, big picture, when AD goes down, I think a lot of folks assume the team will go down as well. You know what I mean? It's been a tough season already. That was a huge blow. You played a big part in that not happening. But behind the scenes, I just wonder like, what was the communication and message came about? You know, you guys are obviously leading the streak. And how, did, how do you pull that off? Uh, I think we pulled it off by you know just being strong and resilient. You know. Uh, Coach always talks about next man up and always to stay ready whenever your name is called, and that's what I try to do. You know, whenever my name was called, I just automatically wanted to stay ready. You just never know. You know, it's a long season, 82-game season, and it's a shame that, you know, one of our best players and one of the best players in the league has gone down. But I'm trying to hold it down for him as much as I can for him. And just to have those guys coach me, you know, talk to me on the sidelines, what they see, what they, what they feel like, and, you know, it just brings confidence to all of us. You know, when those guys are proud of us, we're proud of them. And it just builds a great team chemistry around here to where I think this, I think that's what helped part of the streak that we're on right now. Last two, gentlemen here in the back, and then Dan will have a follow-up. Thank you. You just said something about the coach. I just want to get your thoughts on, you know, what Darvin's been doing, you guys coming up in town, you know, games go, but it seems like, you know, there's some cohesion going on between the coaching staff and uh, the players and stuff. Just want to get your thoughts about, you know, He's done a phenomenal job, you know, and literally his first year to come into an organization like the Los Angeles Lakers and to be able to coach some of the best players of all time, you know, and to be able to make adjustments, get wins and, you know, 
really show his talent as a coach, it's an honor and a gift to also have right there. You know, his expertise, what he does on and off the floor, is superb. So I try to learn as much as I can from him. He's been in this game for a very long time, coached a lot of great players, and actually been on a championship run with the Los Angeles Lakers before. So just as much as I can, I'm just trying to absorb as much as I can from him, learn as much as I can from him, just like I do with my vets. Thomas, um, if things go well, Katie will be back. Um, how excited are you to play with this level of confidence? You know, he's played along centers before. And mm -hmm. Your game is a little bit. Are you, are you in your mind at times even thinking like, okay, like if I'm like if I'm like this, maybe it was like what he was like. What could this team be like in the front court? Of course, I always think of that. You know, um, just to be able to incorporate him in my in um, in my skill set as well. I feel like it's going to be a great a great a great uh, approach to the game of basketball, but. For right now, I just can't think too much ahead about that. Right now, I just have to focus on the next game and the next game and the next game after that one until uh, our superstar is back. So for me, I always think about it. You know, I try to not get too ahead of it, but man, that would be special right there, I feel like. But for me, I just have to stay consistent and be level-headed on it and just worry about the next one. Thank you.